since our initial clue is a frightened local, we will start with an investigation scene. 6. Ambush a dangerous actor who holds a clue, face a fight instead of a check. Oh boy, we start off spicy. When Ralva's mother started getting frail from old age, she started having more responsibilities in the tribe. People would rattle the bones hanging by the front door, and Jana, the old wise woman, would send her daughter hoping to spare her poor back. It seemed like her new catchphrase was no longer I'll be there in a second, but instead I trust you, you can handle it, my dear. This morning was no different. A burly silver miner had showed up, but instead of the usual request she would get from the laborers, she was surprised to see the man wearing a pale look of horror. Certainly you'd think such a strong looking orc wouldn't even know how to look so anguished. He talked about spirits, about hauntings in the mine. Her mother figured it was nothing too worrisome and stayed in bed to spare her back. Ralva donned her ceremonial robes and off she went, her spellbook tucked inside her bag. So we'll start with a check. This is an extra check that won't count towards victory or not. It's just to see if Ralva can see the enemies before they see her. So the check will be as usual a 10. And we get it. Nice. I'll make another check to see what kind of enemy we're encountering. And that's a 4. So 1d4 plus 1 rabble. And a veteran. Oh gosh, that's gonna be pretty rough. Rubble, not too bad. Let's see how many. Three. Three rubble, one veteran. Ralva is led to an entrance of the mine. The place is devoid of any miner, but she gets a strange feeling like she's being watched. Trusting her senses, she walks deeper inside the place. She suddenly feels a deep cold. Looking around the corner, she spots a specter in the shape of a dead orc, and three centipedes that seem to slowly circle around the spirit. Ralva summons her spirit companion, and as soon as he appears, she sees the specter turning towards it and the centipedes ready to pounce. Better take him out quickly, she thinks to herself. We will be the first one to start. Ralva takes out her ceremonial dagger and lunges at the specter with it, while in her other hand she is casting a ball of fire. So I completely miss with my regular attack, but my free die damages him with one. The spirit companion glides toward one of the centipedes and attacks it. Oh my god, how did I also get a 1? The spectre and a centipede attack Ralva, while the other two insects target the spirit. Let's start with Ralva. The purple die is for the spirit and the green one for the centipede. Oh, so the spectre will definitely hit and the centipede, it's not enough. Ooh, and he deals 1d8. 6. Wow, I take 2 damage. The specter takes vengeance on Ralva by pummeling her with its ghostly fists. Now for the ones attacking my spirit companion. Oh, that was a 4 before I moved it, so I'll count it as it was. Ralva continues attacking the specter with blade and magic, and meanwhile her ally perseveres with the centipedes. Oh no, come on. Alright then, what does the spirit do? <laughs> Nothing much. The specter attempts to hit the healer again, while the centipedes all focus on the companion. 
Wow, it's another hit. My gosh, am I gonna get killed by a specter? Oh, thank god, it's a one. So he <laughs> barely misses. Alright, now all the centipedes that are probably gonna kill my companion. No, no, and the nine, no. So all misses. <laughs> Everyone misses on this round. Ralva doesn't give up hope and continues her attack, and so does the spirit companion. Ooh. The regular attack missed again, but the free dice kills the specter. Phew. Come on, spirit companion. Yay, 16, that's all. Be good. He only has a d4, but hey, not bad. Hey, that's another kill. Amazing. The female orc obliterates the spirit in a rush of flames, and in the confusion, her spirit manages to crush one of the manic centipedes. Now I will make the centipedes do a moral check. So the way it works, they have to throw 2d6, and they have to have something lower than their morale, and their morale is 8. Oh, they had a 12, so bye bye they are scared. The centipedes scatter out of view. Ralva finds an orc skull painted with runes where the specter was floating. This must have been used to bring his spirit back to our world. She reasons. This is the end of the scene, so Ralva will get a point. And we need to roll to see if the enemy gets one too, since this is an investigation scene. But since it's our first one, he would need to have a 1 on a d10. Nope, that's a 7. 